The pandemic has exposed a lot of ugly truths in our society, but perhaps also in your home. Divorces are sadly up dramatically across the country, but there are things you can do to prepare yourself if you find yourself in one of those unfortunate situations. Joining me to talk about it is the owner of Jennifer Hargrave Family Law, attorney Jennifer Hargrave. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Lisa. All right, so what are you seeing in terms of divorces? Well, we are definitely seeing an uptick in divorces. At least in my practice, it has more than doubled um, the number of divorce filings since, uh, really since last March. Um, and I think, you know, people are just, tired of their marriage. And this is this is something that um, maybe has been coming for a long time, but the whole quarantine has really spurred on people to take action. Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously divorce is a very serious decision that has to get made. And obviously when you're in close quarters with somebody for a very long time, sometimes those problems become very magnified. And I'm wondering if you have seen, you know, what you have seen in terms of what these people are telling you about why it's come to this. Well, one of the obvious reasons why a divorce will happen is because an affair has been discovered. And so initially there, I had a lot of calls from people who uh, were either being found out or because they were finding out that their spouse is having an affair. It's hard to keep it under wraps when you're stuck in the same, uh, in the same place, you know? Wow. But also, I think that in normal day-to-day -day lives, we have children. Um, work schedules. I mean, people live really busy lives and that can create a distraction. And so I think when the, when everything closed down and the pandemic hit, all of a sudden, you know, you, you weren't doing business trips anymore and the kids didn't have all of their activities. And so people were just sort of facing the fact that their marriage was miserable. Yeah. You know, I want to talk to, because I want people to understand what they're up against, you know, if they make this a very tough decision. So first of all, let's talk about the cost associated. I mean, this is not a cheap endeavor to, <laughs> to go through a divorce, correct? That's correct. I mean, oftentimes it, it will well exceed the cost of the actual wedding itself. So it is really important to be careful when making this decision. I always think that one of the best things you can do early on is get information about the different process options that you have. I mean, one of the biggest contributors to the cost of a divorce is going to be the level of conflict. And so, you know, for people who are in a high conflict marriage, continuing to stay in a high conflict marriage usually only brings more conflict and can bring more expense. But for those who are, you know, generally agreeable with the spouse, they just don't like them anymore. You know, how you go about telling your spouse you want a divorce will, can have serious cost implications. Yeah. So there are ways to do it to keep the conflict levels down. Um, one thing I often suggest that people do is, you know, marriage therapy. And there's also, there's something called discernment counseling, which is really good for people to know. It's different than marriage therapy. And if you Google it, you can find therapists in your area who specialize in it. But it's a really healthy way to have a conversation about whether we should stay in the marriage or not. And going to a couple sessions is a lot less expensive than, you know, finding out the other way when you go through and hire a divorce attorney. Let's talk about some of the things that people need to know if they're even considering. Um, you have some, some, some tips on things that people need to know if they're even considering this, this move. One of the first things that I just generally advise people is, you know, be involved in the financial uh, aspect of your marriage. I think it's easy, especially for women, or if you're not the main income earner, to kind of abdicate that responsibility and let somebody else take care of it. But these are your resources too and your assets. And you need to know and you have a right to know. And it is not surprising, but I mean, it's very common that one partner in the marriage will kind of, you know, let the other person handle everything. And you need passwords to bank accounts. You need to be looking over credit card statements. Um, you need to know who your financial advisor is and whether the taxes have been paid. I mean, these are all significant uh, pieces of information. And the more information you have going into the divorce process, the more money that will actually save you in the long run. If we don't have to go do expensive discovery and you know, we already have a lot of the information that could be tremendously helpful. I know you also say prepare, prepare, prepare. There are new rules that go into effect on January 1 that you should probably be aware of. 
Well, that certainly applies to Texas. It, I'm sure it applies in other states as well. We we just revamped our whole um, process of exchanging information. So where where it was voluntary, it's now mandatory, and that has increased the cost significantly. Um, in fact, a lot of my colleagues are talking about doubling their retainers just because of the new laws. So it is important to know um, what your rights are and know you know what information is going to be important. And that's why I think if you are considering divorce, it is a good idea. Go pay for an hour of time with a lawyer and, and get information about your courts, where you live, how, if, you know, what kind of information you need. Yeah. Um, is there any other, as we close, one last piece of advice for someone, a man or a woman who might be considering this right now? What is the, what is the one thing they need to do today that they can do on their own? You know, um, I think getting really clear yourself about uh, about your own goals and your vision for your life is going to help in so many regards. Whether you decide to stay in your marriage or you decide to, you know, get a divorce, um, I I always want my clients to know where they want to end up as they start the next chapter of their life. And you know, let's face it, we're all starting the next chapter. Um, this period of time has, has been uh, uh, unsettling for everyone. Um, not to mention those, you know, who are going through a divorce. And so as you prepare to start this next chapter, you know, know what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to get out of life? I think one thing we've all learned is how vulnerable we are and how fragile life is. Mm -hmm. And we need to make the most of the time that we have. So, well, Jennifer, I appreciate your time. I know it's a kind of a crappy topic, but it's super important information for people to have if they sadly have to make this decision or feel like they need to make this decision if it benefits their ultimate goals like you're talking about. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa.